What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video I'm gonna be talking about, or this video series, I'm gonna be talking about .NET Core and VC. I'm going to be doing a full course and the actual app that we're going to build is going to be a running social media app. So you log into this app or you have a homepage, you have this neat little uh, geolocation that finds your location by your IP. So wherever you're at, it's going to find it um, and display a nice little cert or it's going to display like a, a search result of things that are in the actual database we've got a club dashboard so people can see clubs they can see races and we're also going to have a login and a register so that they can get to a very simple dashboard back to MVC so prerequisites prerequisites before this uh, vis you need visual studio 2022.net 6 you don't need to know css you do need to know html you need to know javascript and you're going to have to know uh, c sharp definitely for this course why use dot mvc used everywhere very popular in banking insurance and in the enterprise it's very popular with large employers um, it's very easy to maintain. It's known for its scalability. So if you're trying to build something big that you need to scale, it's .NET MVC is definitely going to be your choice. Um, it's easy to deploy and because it's popular at so many places and there's so many apps out there that need uh, .NET developers, the salary is really high and it's very stable. It's a good enough reason for anybody to learn to code, honestly. Um, but really, the million dollar question is like, what is NVC? And some people call it NVC, but they should make this actually CVM. Like if I could like erase that, but I can't because I don't, there's no editing because I'm in the actual presenter. This should be flipped around. This should be like CVM. And if you can understand NVC, CVM, or if you can understand these three acronyms very well, you're gonna be doing very well as a .NET developer, but I'm going to try and break it, break each individual one down and help you understand it like at a very core level. So most important C, which is going to be your controller. Now, controllers themselves are very complicated, but really at the end of the day, all the controller is, is it's a way to look at URLs or it's a way for your app to actually um, however your app is structured is like its URL screen scheme is going to be your controller and how data is being, uh, how you get data to a database is also going to be a part of the controllers, but we will get into that at a different time. So the model in .NET MVC is probably why there's such a big demand for backend developers or why backend developers are so well paid is because the whole entire idea of a model is you're trying to get to a database, you're trying to get data into your models, and then you're trying to display it on a web page. And the quicker and more efficiently you can do that, the better and more you're probably going to get paid. And sometimes people refer to these as business rules. So, <laughs> and the web page is the view. Uh, there's whole entire careers dedicated to views, but your life as a C-sharp or a .NET developer isn't going to be uh, so much in the views. Um, it's going to be more in the models. So if I had to say, I would probably focus more on models in your career. But if you want to be a front-end developer or you want to be a full-stack developer, you're definitely going to have to pay attention to views. And uh, most of the time when you're a .NET developer, you're working a lot of times with frameworks um, and you're just trying to display data on a web page, and a lot of times you're doing it in grids. So, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and let's create an MVC project. So, we're going to go ahead and create new project. We're going to go up here, we're going to go to MVC, and we're going to click next. We're going to call this um, run group web app because this web app is going to be about running so just uh, like the acronym is you've got models you've got views 
you've got controllers. So if you don't want this program.cs is basically where all your options are going to be bundled together and where you're going to have things like middleware, but uh, it's a little confusing and we'll kind of dive deeper into it because we're gonna have to worry about things like dependency injection. So if it kind of confuses you a little bit, don't worry about it. The app settings is going to be the settings when your app, your, uh, app is actually running. So any type of settings like connection strings, um, database connection strings, we'll actually be using app settings later to connect to the database. That's uh, where all that's going to be. The views are going to be where your HTML is. Your HTML is um, actually included in MVC. With when you are building a program and web API, you're not going to have views because the views are going to be handled by Angular or they're going to be handled by Re React. Uh, we also have the layout, uh, models. Models are going to be the representations of data in your database, something that we will talk about once we actually get to installing Entity Framework and controllers. If you look here, this is actually the entry point of when we first go to the website. So www.yourwebsitewhatever.com slash nothing is going to be where the index is. And if we boot this up, you also see that we have a privacy page and I'll show you what that looks like as well. So first time this could, okay, great, popped right up. So right here, that's our privacy and the URLs right here are how the controller is actually controlled. So that's just a good overview of controllers. We can go ahead and shut that down. That's how you actually run the app. You press the green button. www.root is going to be, we're going to have assets. You're going to have images. You're gonna have your CSS and don't need really to worry about dependencies or properties except for the launch JSON settings, which we probably won't even mess with, but it's good to know that they're there. Anyway, that's gonna be my first video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.